Hi, brothers and sisters and friends of Haynes Ministries. This is Susan Haynes with A Word in Due Season. I'm so glad that you joined me today. And I would like to share from God's Word. And um, I, my title today is A More Sure Word. And I would like to share out of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. And it says, We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place. Praise God. Um, you know, the, in the Bible it says that the days are going to come and when people are going to seek out teachers that are going to preach what they want to hear. And it's not necessarily God's word. So in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 and 4, if you want to look these up later, you can. It says, for there is going to come a time when people won't listen to the truth, but will go about looking for teachers who will tell them just what they want to hear. They won't listen to what the Bible says, but will follow their own misguided ideas. So, you know, all of us have known people, and maybe we've had people even call us on the phone or something, asking us what we thought about something. And we tell them from our heart what we think and what we think they ought to do, but that's not what they wanted to hear. So they go and find somebody else to tell their issue or problem to until they find something, someone that will say what they want to hear. And so, um, you know, God's word, there's people that have gifts of prophecy, the gifts of knowledge and wisdom, and I'm not putting that down one bit because we'll talk about that in a future time, but because God's given gifts unto men. But the main thing that God has given us, the more sure word that God has given us is right here. And if somebody tells you something does not line up with God's word, then I don't care what it is or how good it sounds, you need to disregard it. And, you know, there's another scripture that says, prove all things and hold fast that which is good. And God, <laughs> God wants us to hold fast that which is good. And so if someone, the way we know that it's good is if it agrees with God's word. If it doesn't agree with God's word, then we lay it aside. Okay, so um, in 2 Timothy um, chapter 2, verses 3, 16, and 17, this, the Bible says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man or woman of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And, you know, we were talking to a, a dear friend not too long ago that was having some issues and, and problems in their life. And uh, they felt like maybe they weren't perfect in God yet. Well, none of us are perfect in God yet. Uh, Pastor Steve and I are not perfect yet, but one of the ways that you become perfected in God and you get better and start is by reading God's word. So I just want to encourage each and every one of you, if you don't already, to have a Bible plan that you read God's word every day. And it can be as simple as getting your Bible out. If you have a Bible, if you don't have one, go get one and putting a bookmark or a ribbon. Some Bibles have a little ribbon in it. If yours doesn't, just get a bookmark. Just um, fold down a page or something of your Bible. But read God's Word every day. If you're not sure what to read, do like what I just said to do. Just keep going through the Bible. Pick up where you left off. You can start in the New Testament if you want, or the Old Testament. Read something from the Old Testament and the New Testament every day. Um, also, if you have a Bible app, get a Bible app. U Vision, U Version, there's a Bible app that you can go through the Bible 
and read it through in a year. So have a plan for the Bible and read it every day. So um, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12, it says, For the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And so as we read God's word, he renews our mind. In Romans 12, chapter 1, it talks about how God renews our mind, and he renews our mind as we read his word and we trust in him. And so I, I hope that this word has been an inspiration for you today. I don't want to take a, a long time. I just want to give you a short um, part of God's word today that you can meditate on. You can watch this over again and see the scriptures. And if any of you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to ask him to come into your heart today. Or if you used to serve God, you were raised in church, and you even know, knew the Bible at one time, and you've walked away from it, use this prayer as your rededication to come to the Lord. Let's all pray together, all those that want to have Jesus in your heart and want him to begin to transform your life. Uh, here, let's pray this prayer. Father God, thank you that for sending Jesus Christ, your only beloved son, to die on the cross instead of me to pay for the penalty of my sins. I believe in my heart that you have raised him from the dead. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior and begin to serve you today. Thank you, Jesus. If you pray this prayer, you are now a child of God, you prayed this prayer in faith believing, or if you were already serving God, but you've backslid, you are now back in fellowship with God. Start reading the word and allow God to change you. God bless you. See you next time.